Hi everyone, this is Lolly. I wanted to share with you how I made this fairy lantern. I know it's kind of hard to get a good angle on this, and um, I'll put some pictures at the end showing you this when it's lit up at night. What you're going to need is one canning jar. This is the quart size. I like the wide mouth because I need to put my hand in and out of there as opposed to the narrow mouth. You're going to need a fairy die in black cardstock. Um, what position she's in and how tall she is is up to you. I prefer ones that don't go any taller than the half the height of the jar, mainly because, depending on your source of light, this part of her might be kind of in darkness. You know, if you use tea lights at the bottom, then you're not going to have much light up here to illuminate behind her. That's why I chose this one for... Um, my first one, a little smaller. I think I'm going to go with this one this time. Okay, and you're going to need some glitter, and by glitter I mean the ultra-fine or micro-fine Prisma glitter, you know, kind of a whitish color. Uh, you'll need a cheap source of school glue, um, a good sturdy, like, super glue for gluing her to the jar, and a light source, and you can put two or three of these tea lights in the bottom of the jar. Make sure they are battery operated and not real flame. And these ones I like because they do flicker, which is really cute in there. And what I used is this, and it's the uh, 30 micro lights, they're called. And I got two sets of these for $8. They're micro LED, and they're on copper wire. Okay, and then also some embellishments for the rim of the jar. You can use raffia or netting, you know, any kind of tool or anything else you want to wrap around there. Flowers, I went with more earthy tones. I thought it would look better. And this is a key I added. I just put a jump ring on there so it would be aiming the right way. And I just thought it was kind of a magical looking key. And I added a few little rhinestones on there for effect. So let's get started. The other thing you're going to need is some tissue paper pre-cut. And what you want is your tissue paper wide enough to go like mid mid in the, the uh, top of the jar and to cross over a little bit to the bottom. And it should wrap around and cross a little bit in the back. So I just, and then you don't have to use a ruler, just kind of eyeball it out. And this one will cross just and overlap just enough in the back. You want your jar to be clean, and you want your hands to be dry and your surface dry. Put something down to collect all your glitter or your fairy dust, as we're going to call it. And you put your decorated side or your raised side on the bottom temporarily. And I'm going to put a lot of this glue in this little container for myself here. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water because I want to make this more spreadable. It's a little too thick and the drying time really depends on what area you live in and how much glue you use so I can't give you a good drying time. We live in a pretty dry area that's still super thick. I'm going to add just another little drop or two of water. Okay. Much better. Okay, so just slather that across the top get that all on there and I advise you to do as little handling of this as possible I mean once you get the tissue paper on there try to keep one hand free of the glue okay it's going to buckle it's okay don't try to twist it around too much I'm going to flip that over and start working on the rest of it from down here and then I'm going to put my hand inside the jar instead of trying to hold the wet jar because I don't want this hand to get all gluey. There you go. And it is a little fiddly, but don't don't get too perfectionistic about it. It's just a jar. <laughs> and whatever mistakes you make, we can cover up later with the glitter. Of course, this is the back I'm working on right now. It's not as critical as the front. That's why I did the front first. Okay. Get some on there. Roll that around, and I do want to get some here in the overlap, some glue there. Okay, and then, like on the bottom, just get some down in the crease. Cover that bottom and start spreading it out with the brush. And so I'm not using my hands to push that. Whoopsie, this is what I'm talking about, tearing. 
This is going to be on the bottom, so it's not going to hurt anything. No one's going to see that. I'm just going to tear that off, as a matter of fact. And this is in the back. So it depends on how thick your tissue paper t is, too, as to how um, difficult this is going to be to work with. Okay. Smash that down. See right there, in the this is the front of my jar, and I'm gently pushing that tissue paper back down. Like I said, it does tear easily. Your options are to replace that hole that we just made with another teeny piece of tissue paper, or wait and just cover it with glitter, okay? Or both. You can always do both. So I am going to get a little extra glue right there, cover a little teeny piece of tissue paper right there, and then not worry about it anymore after that. Okay, now I'm going to put this face down while it dries and I'll have to come back and work on it later. Okay, Okay. it's been drying for an hour and a half and I still have some damp spots but they're not going to interfere with what I'm going to do next. While it was drying I wiped up my craft mat because I didn't want to leave any glue on this and I also rinsed out my brush when I've got some fresh glue here. I just want to go over and get some uh, moisture on the bottom here where I'm going to put my fairy dust. And it doesn't need to be, as a matter of fact, I prefer it not to be a super straight line across there. So I'm just kind of dabbing, dabbing it around. And I'm going to spoon some fairy dust on there. And this is, like I said, microfine or ultrafine glitter. Get a little tap now and then. This is when it really starts to get pretty. Now you can put your fairy on the inside of the jar whenever you want. I prefer to wait because, um, as you see, my hand is in here, right? <laughs> and I didn't want to stick the fairy in there and end up dislodging my fairy. So I'm going to put the fairy in after I do all this glitter. But again, you can do it how you want to. Just going over the rim here. Get down. I think I'm going to go down a little bit further this time. And if I see any cracks that I want to cover with glitter, now is a good time to get those as well. And remember we added that one extra piece of paper there. I'm going to add a few dots here and there because I think that would be really cute. Okay, let's cover all those dots. And that one part there. There we go. Now let's get this open. Hold it over the jar, the box of glitter here. This is where it gets kind of messy, and you will be wearing some fairy dust for several hours after this, so <laughs> be prepared. Okay, but it's such a lovely project. Now I want you to understand that I didn't come up with this idea. I got it from a video that I saw from Nicola, and I am going to link you to her original video. And I'd love for you to stop by and see her video because you're going to see some other ways of decorating as well and someone else's view of doing this, plus she's the original artist anyway. So now this is going to sit and dry again. And then when that's dry, I'm going to come in and choose my fairy and glue it to the inside of the jar with some super glue. Once we do that, all we have to do is choose whatever decorations you want on the outside of yours. And that's totally up to you and what you have on in your stash and what your color scheme is. So I'll be back when this is done drying. Okay, the glitter is dry enough. I want to get her in here. Um, because the jar is a little rounded, I'm going to gently kind of flex this a little bit so she'll fit in there a little bit better. And if you don't have access to a die cutting machine or a cameo or something like that to make you a fairy, and you see a really cute fairy online that's about the right size and image, and you can print it off, glue it on paper, and then fussy cut around that. So I'm just going to use this crazy glue. Get a few good dabs here and a couple on the wings. I've used this before. I really like it, and it's the um, Loctite Super Glue Gel. Okay, got to find the front of this again. There it is. I'm going to put that in there. There you go. Now I'm going to hold that in place while she's drying. 
So when, it, and it only takes a minute really, while she's drying, we'll talk about decorating this top because all you need to do is drop your lights down in here and again, no real fire. <laughs> drop your lights down there or use these uh, micro lights, micro LED. They are really nice because they spread the sparkling light throughout the jar. I like that effect because it reminds me of fairy lights. And um, again, you can just put some um, not, uh, netting or some tool or um, this is raffia around there. I tend to keep, I hope this is not too close to the camera, I tend to keep this bag of little pieces that come on packages or, you know, um, just wrappings. And I think, isn't that gorgeous? That would be cute around there. Or gonzo ribbon would be really cute. Look at these. Little stars. Matter of fact, I have a little bit of that gold that I got um, quite a while ago on a package. So just whatever you have lying around the house, put that around there. And I love the key. Uh, I just think it reminds me of something that would be in an enchanted garden there for the fairy. So all of that. I hope that's helpful. And do check out the video in my in my uh, description of the video down below. And let's see, she's good. I'm going to turn these on just so you can see. It probably won't show up really well because I have too many lights going on right here. But one can hope, right? And then I'll end this video by showing you. There you go. I hope there's not too much glare on that. Eh, it's too glary. I will show you pictures that I took of this one in the dark so you can see it illuminated. So it's a really easy project once you gather all your supplies. You just have to let it dry in stages, but other than that, it's wonderful. I think it was a great idea that she came up with. Thank you so much for watching.